Last episode was so much plot. We learned how magic kind of works. We learned about the different circles and how the center of the circle, you can like override it, but they got to be so good with magic. But then it's kind of alluded that, you know, Nephi might be super cracked because she's a cursed child. Why is she a cursed child? Because of the hair. Because in this show, I think like, uh, what is it? White haired elf is bad. Some of the shows, black haired elf is bad. But on top of that, elves use like mysticism as well on top of that, which is like different type of magic compared to like a quote unquote scientific magic. A lot of plot drop kind of happened. But the most important thing, Nephi went berserk. She saved Zagan. And then she was like, you know what? All those people that like abandoned me, I wish they would die. And I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck yes. This coup de day elf, seemingly coup de day elf, has a psycho side that actually like, I want the real nephew to come out. And as the more she gets comfortable with Zagan, you know, the more of those sides may come out. And of course, there's the wholesome thing on lap and feeding each other as usual. I wonder what's going to happen in today's episode. Let's find out. <laughs> Comforting crying girl, Riz. Undignified? It's all right. I like it when you're undignified. She's got crazy healing magic? Just by touching her, you heal yourself? Like, there was no actual, like, healing magic. He just touched her face. And then you healed yourself, and that's mysticism? Because mysticism is like believing whatever you want in like the power of imagination magic. <laughs> Nephi's feeling of wanting Zagan to be well, to get better is mysticism part. What? Arigato Nephi? Remember last episode, whenever her ear starts flicking, it's like a dog wagging its tail. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Hiding there with your pillow. <laughs> Wait, you're too scared to sleep alone? You wanna to sleep together? She looks so okay just hiding behind the pillar. Oh! Define sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time, when an art demon offers you anything, you're better off saying no. What a fucking title, Jesus. Get the saxophone out. <laughs> Sleeping. No. I don't think Nephi is suggesting a sexual act. I think that she might be feeling a little lonely. She just wants someone to cuddle and sleep. Was she always that big? Did she get buffed? Did I, did I mess a patch note? It's because she's always wearing that big ass maid thing. Wait! Has Bro been sleeping on a fucking chair? For all this time? This place only has. I have never seen him in a room. He just sits here. Bro just sits on the fucking throne. He doesn't have a room. He just sits on this fucking throne. This is his bed. This is, this is his gamer chair, bro. This is his entire fucking gamer chair, and this is all he fucking does, dude. <laughs> okay. Mm, come join me in my bed. Yeah. What? If he goes away, the barriers would go down. It's important for the security of the place. Nah, he capping. He fucking lying. He's too shy about the sleeping thing. I thought she took down her rope for a minute. Lap pillow again! <laughs> she's so ready. Look! She's T posing! <laughs> Nephi's T posing with her ears! Lap pillow! Lap pillow. Alright. Uh... Boing! Mm. Mm. The last time we saw something like this was like Furiden and Fern, right? Whenever Furiden would like be napping and she would like look up and Fern would be like looking down. Alright, alright. Yeah, and maybe she can override magical circles. That too was mysticism, right? Yeah. The Hashirama powers with the plan. Nephi's gonna be like the master of mysticism and sorcery, bro. She's gonna be insane. She's probably gonna be the first... Well, actually, I don't know if she's the first person, but there was a talk about how magic circles are used to... 
uh, make obviously magic, but you can't override it once a cast once it's been casted. But it's like if you take over the middle, then you can like override it. So I'm hoping that Nephi does something like that. I think you're just a talented genius, Nephi, and you can just do whatever you want. She wants to protect us. Nephi just wants to be useful to Zagan, huh? Okay. This is uh, I don't I feel like everybody should have their own independence and live for themselves, but like Nephi obviously has such like abandonment issues and we kinda saved her. So it's not so bad to live for others, but her entire motivation towards anything is like, do I serve a purpose for Zagan? You know? Do am I useful to him? And when you kind of think of it in that perspective, it goes it stops being like a wholesome rom com of like raising an elf girl to like Almost like grooming this poor girl who has like abandonment issues, is so dependent, and she can only think about you know being useful to someone else. Not that there's anything wrong to it, and I'm probably digging way too deep into it. Master and apprentice, let's go. So, you made it sound like your powers meant you didn't understand how the weak feel. Oh yeah, remember that one time? Uh, the backstory with the girl that got injured and Zagan was like a child and he's like to the poor girl that was injured she was like <laughs> skill issue <laughs> this is on you you're weak this is why that happened fuck you get better bitch <laughs> he was so mean I mean he was just an edgy kid that was trying to survive so I think it makes sense why he said that there is some sadness to it, maybe? Oh. Oh. Alright. Alright, this is how you guys are gonna go viral with your YouTube videos, okay? Here's a concept idea. 12 hours of Nephi, um, uh, basically, uh, saying that you're, you're not a bad person. 12 hours of Nephi saying that you're a good person and you can do no wrong. ASMR Nephi of just validating words. I, words of affirmation. I guarantee you. Videos like that would fucking pop off. Oh my god, he's actually crying. Oh my god. Aww. Aww. Not a single moment. Actually, we did see the titty for a bit, but not a single moment of him just feel like, oh shit, I'm getting, you know, a boner. Just like ruining with lewd moments. This is like very happy moments. But was that a flag? It'd be nice if he could have more moments like this. Ah, is Nephi gonna die, guys? No. I mean, maybe some shit happens and it's gonna be too hectic for a while. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Dude, his place is so run down. Yeah, that girl did. But that girl was pretty smart and she might be on our side later. Maiden of the Sacred Sword. <laughs> he braced him when he comes over. What did you just say? Nephi, I don't want to be mean, but you just said, here you are. Help yourself to as much milk and sugar as you like. Bitch! What is this? Milk for ants? Look at the size of that thing! You go... You got a little... Careful, careful. From the auction, yeah. No, we're not gonna sacrifice her! No, 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 it's nothing like that. This is a better relationship than master and servant. That tea is still frozen in time. Or space. That's kinda cool. Only I! Can objectify my girl. No one else. Ah, true love. Yes. She did use mysticism. The trees? You're after one of the Ark Demon Seeds, aren't you? I thought in episode one, Zagan was already one of the 13 Ark Demons, and he was one of the youngest ones to ever do it. But now, what I assumed is wrong. Zagan is not an Arc Demon. He is simply a candidate for an Arc Demon. So, an Arc Demon doesn't mean that you're an actual demon, right? You can. Because, de what is Zagan? He is a human, right? 
Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be a demon to be an arc demon. You can be pretty much like any race. Could Nephi technically be arc demon too? Like in Tensira, you know how the t title Demon Lord is just like a title, right? So, sorcerers, uh, any sorcerer. Wait, are we? Are we gonna get Nephi involved in this? Hold the fuck up. That would be kind of cool if, you know, both of us, you know, join the arc demon slot. Okay. So it's for the sake of Nephi. If we have the Arc Demon clout, then they're gonna be scared of us and stop fucking with us. He's even doing it just for her. So he started this when he was eight years old and he's now 18. When's the next open sea? Someone already died, Nephi's owner. Uh, we kind of have. It is. He has such a good excuse now, right? Even this. Isn't this is it that strange to value one's apprentice, right? He doesn't have to call her like a girlfriend or like a servant or anything. It's just like, yeah. So, like, clinging onto humanity is a bad thing for sorcery, huh? Because, like, sorcerers, you're doing everything for the pursuit of magic, even sacrificing people. And Zagan even says, give it a rest. I'm not sure if he's just trying to act cool, but... Bye-bye. I don't know. Kind of? Are we acquaintances? Business partners? Yeah, it looks like y'all were just bantering. Tsundere. Tsundere friends. <laughs> Alright, let's do uh cleaning up the <laughs> the plants that we fucked up. Wait, a little training arc? Yeah, read that book. Sweep, sweep the ground. Oh. Oh. She's not shy anymore. Look at it, it's blossoming. She's fucking insane, bro. She's a, I thought I I thought that she might have created, you know, the beanstalk that goes to, you know, the fucking giants in the in the fucking heaven. You know that's they like Jack and Jill, the beanstalk. Thing. Okay, she's got sorcery down. Are we ever gonna get rid of that collar? Maybe Nephi's fine with it. And sorry, the key was for Nephi's collar, I forgot. I asked about what's the key for when we were talking about, you know, Zagan and uh, Barbatos is talking about, you know, what were you doing with the Arc Demon stuff? The key, right? We're trying to find the key because the key is lost. And if you try to remove the collar, then she might just die. <laughs> Who's attacking? Bird thing! It's a letter though. Letter from? The church? Oh wait, the Ark Demons! Underground kind of ruins. The Ark Demons hideout. Ooh, seems very demon-like. Uh, they want to recruit you because you have so much potential. Bunch of dudes hidden in cloaks. There's one white cloak though. Oh, there's pressure! Arc demon ever. They all really do look like NPC designs though, huh? Underneath those cloaks. Oh. <laughs> the joke work? Fight. No. Chosen! But why? Didn't we just talk about how he's too young and there's so many better people with better experience, but Zagan just gets chosen? Either this is genuinely an honest recruitment because Zagan shows potential, or there's more nefarious reasons. What could the nefarious reasons be? Does it have to do with Nephi at the end of the day? The elf is that important? I don't know. 
Like, the most intuitive answer is about Nephi. And again, right, their designs are so fucking NPC-like because they're all hidden in the cloaks, but there's this one person that's in the white cloak, so this person is kind of important. Marco Sias is Nephi's arc demon, right? Yes. So we need to earn an emblem. Oh, I can't tell because I can't sense mana. My bad. You also get crazy power through that emblem, yeah? The emblem is not cracked, huh? There must be a different reason. Ooh, who are these characters? We saw Barbatos? But there's some kind of like beast hybrid, beast person here. Another beast-like thing here with armor, and this is a girl in blonde that I think we saw. These are the people that we saw in episode 1 in the stands, in the auction. It's just happened too quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Andras the Accursed. Was he doing experimentation? I forget the exact context on why Zagan was stolen. Didn't... It was like experimentation, and they wanted to use Zagan as, an, as, an, as a, a sacrifice, right? Because that's what sorcerers do. They wanted to use, like, sacrifice to further their own power, but he basically killed him after, you know, using sorcery. Uh, he's the main character of this show. That's the obvious reason. But beyond that, learn from a single glance. Yeah. But he saw the entire circle, so we're just kind of talking about Zagan's innate talent right now. So even if he doesn't have that experience, his potential is cracked because of this incident. So now the Arc Team's recruitment actually seems genuine, and it's not really for the sake of some nefarious reasons like kidnapping Nephi. Okay. Okay. Your talent worthy of resentment. They're jealous. They're glazing him, bro. Zagan just sounds like the most OP person now. He's basically fucking Mahoka Onisama. He can like understand the constructions of everything and just immediately fucking know. Hmm. Maybe they're glazing intentionally to make us think that this is genuine, but at the end of the day, they do have different plans. I don't know. They are meat riding, though. They are shmeat riding, bro. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Okay. She's a grandma, because you can see not only the white hair, but old people on anime. Do you know how they make old people on anime? They just basically add extra lines here and here. Just like here and here and suddenly they're old in anime. Gilf? Hello, granny. But like, who do you think would be more dangerous and scary? These arc demons? Them, them getting mad? Or Nephi getting mad because the arc demons were fucking around with Zagan? I feel like if Nephi went berserk, some of these arc demons, maybe even all of them, would be in shock and be like, holy fuck, she's the actual arc demon. Nephi will penetrate Zagan! Nephi <laughs> I mean, I guess it's to become one of them then. But Nephi. <sighs> For Nephi's sake, what do we do? I feel like the only way to protect Nephi is to get stronger. Right? Like just logically, you just need power to protect the people you love. So, that's good enough justification for joining the Arc Demons to get more power to protect Nephi, even if that means dragging her along. Or we could just run away with her, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> don't touch Nephi. Whoa, 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 What is it? What is it? All of what? Alright, emblem time. Arise, Mao Zagan. Oh. What's his second name? So, 
Okay, so if they get so he is known as Malazagan, but it's like it's like an arc demon name. You will be known as, and then we cut to Curry. So maybe it's like Curry Zagan. <laughs> lamb stew might be not not Curry lamb stew. <laughs> Mao Zagan the lamb stew. <laughs> Whoa, so cool, master. Wow. I don't think she understands the implications, though, right? So, wait, we, we naturally just inherit all of that previous Arc Demon stuff because we became a Demon Lord. So the wish cannot be, you know, we asked them for something, right? So it's, wait, 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 no. He said you can have all of it. So maybe the request was to have all of the Arc Demon's property. Therefore, we get the key. Maybe it's something like that. Or maybe there's something else. And we don't really know what that would be asked for. No more collar. I feel like Nephi will just wear the collar. Even if it's unlocked, I feel like she will wear it because... This is how all it began, and she trusts him enough. I, I don't know. I don't feel like she's going to take it off. Uh, oh, it's all right. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine she just fucking runs away, dude. Imagine the instant the collar broke, she was like... <laughs> And then just fucking ran. Bro, that would be so cruel, but so fucking funny. But it's not that kind of shit. She's gonna stay around. She's gonna stay around, bro. No, he's just being a little bit mean. That's the mean Riz. Bro, she's destroyed now. Wait, is she on the streets now? Motherfucker, you could have warned it a little better. You could have said, like, it's to protect you. Zagan L. Zagan L. Bro, you better fucking make this right. <laughs> he has no use for her. Oh. Zagan, bro, why'd you have to ward it like that? You're so acoustic, bro. Come on. Is she gonna cry after the lap pillow? <laughs> No tears. Man, that was such a sad episode. Well, the beginning half was really good. It was all, ooh, ooh, oh, Koshuji sama, oh, lap pillow, please. And Zagan's like, oh my god, this is so fucking good. I love my life. I've only sat on this only chair this my entire life, but finally, I got a lap pillow. And everything is fine. And when Barbara is like her friend, everything is fine. And then Pro just fucking tells Nephi, hey, Nephi, I got no use for you anymore. Get out of here. But like, what he's trying to say it really is, I became an arc demon. The path that I'm gonna walk is gonna be treacherous, and that means that you're gonna get involved in it, and you may get hurt too. And because of that, I don't want you getting involved. Please leave. But instead of saying that, what is he gonna say? I got no use for you, bitch! Leave! Now, how will this correct itself? Maybe Zagan will realize that he needs her? Because I'm sure Nephi would be down to walk into the abyss if that means, you know, serving and protecting Zagan. There's no way this is just over like this. But part of me, you know what wouldn't the funny shit ever? When the collar fucking broke, bro. When Zagan broke Nephi's collar. And if Nephi just fucking ran away the instant it broke, that would have been the funniest shit. But no, it's not that kind of anime. There was some more interesting thing with the Ark Demons, right? About how they see potential in Zagan. Zagan is basically Shiba Tatsuya from Mahoka, right? He can see like these magic circles, immediately understand it, copy it, override it. I don't even know. He can, he can do shit like that, right? But is that truly the reason why they're recruiting him? Or is there an ulterior motive? So far, it seems like they do truly respect his potential, but uh, maybe the 0.1% conspiracy theory is they're after something else and maybe that's related to Nephi. We still don't really know what it, what like what he wished for because he said, as long as you request this, I'll do it. And they said, fine, you can have all of it, which I think refers to all the property of the previous Arc Demon. Therefore, we got the key and everything. Or maybe there's something else. I don't know. I always like to think if there's like maybe, just like a maybe 0.1 chance of something different happening. Next episode, I feel like it's going to be a tearjerker one, man. No doubt Nephi and Zagan will get back together, but how will they do it? Only one way to find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, 
please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.